I am so proud of my brother because this is a dream that he has had for many, many years. And it's not one that he let go. He made the decision he wanted to go forward and start a cafe. And it took time and effort and resourcefulness. But he's done it. You know, it really is such a, an addition to Miller's Falls. In the mid-1800s, it was recognized that there was a lot of power with the water for um, transportation and also to operate mills. And so the mills came in, and then this town was renamed Miller's Falls after the Miller's Falls Tool Company. And it was at that time that this area really flourished um, with the railroads. Uh, the business in this area really developed. It became more of an industrial community. As things shifted and the mills closed, businesses waned in this area. And Miller's Falls pretty much became a drive-through place. And over the last few years, um, the neighborhood's gotten a facelift, there um, is more business and artists coming in, setting up studios, there's uh, the bridal and tuck shop, a laundromat, uh, the, the market, and now the cafe. So. It's really reviving the area once again to be not a place to drive through, but a destination. I've had an art studio over here on the corner uh, in Miller's Falls for two or three years. And when I moved in, this was just a dead storefront and it had Whistle Stop Cafe coming soon. And the window was kind of cracked. And you'd come by and you'd peek in and hear rumors, oh, they're gonna be up next month, they're gonna be up next month. But I knew then that a little coffee shop is just what we need down here in Miller's Falls. Just for a little place for the community to come meet. I wanted to open a cafe because I like to cook and I was tired of working in construction. I was working actually across the street and I was looking over here thinking, you know, it would be a good spot for a cafe. It took me two years to gather everything. And a lot of the equipment I got at auction, the espresso machine, all my coffee makers, convection oven, toasters, things like that. The kitchen we put together, uh, the stove, the hood, ductwork, convection oven. I put the counters in, the sinks. My stepfather and I and put that together. We made the hole, he went home, put the framing together, came back and popped it in. When I was putting the place together, I thought it would be nice to have pieces of art from local artists uh, and change it out frequently, just to change the place up a little. I love having my art in here, hearing people's reactions. It's been a great, great thing, I think, for both of us. My cousin, Cindy Sullivan of Greenfield, makes these multicultural Waldorf dolls. Everything is handmade out of natural fibers, wool, and cotton. Lexi makes these beautiful sun catchers, keychains, and necklaces. A husband and wife team make this jewelry. He makes it out of wood that he finds on his hikes. And his wife makes these beautiful charms. We have had two professional musicians come in. One is L.A. Wood from Hadley, and one is Burry Jenkins from Northampton. And they each play guitar and sing.
The other thing that happens is customers will come in and see a guitar in the corner and pick it up and just start playing spontaneously, which we always encourage. So we have a growing number of regulars who come in every day for breakfast or every other day for lunch and we really look forward to seeing those customers. One of the things I enjoy about meeting our customers is to meet the people who have been here for decades because they will show, share stories about what this place was like in the 50s and 60s and the number of older people who will talk about how they used to come here and get milkshakes at Bill's Cafe or they'd go next door and get their comic books. So what it does for us is really enriches the experience that we have being here knowing that this was once a cafe that touched so many people's lives and was so important to the community at that time. So why do you think Danny chose the name The Whistle Stop Cafe? So we grew up on the Farmington River in Windsor, Connecticut. And our neighbor was a train enthusiast and had an actual train and track that went around his yard. And every Sunday, he'd blow the train whistle and all the kids from the neighborhood would come running to the train station and we would board the train and ride around his yard. And I think that was the start of our love and connection to trains. Miller's Falls is really coming alive again. And whether you're a local or someone passing through, the Whistle Stop is a great place to grab a bite to eat. They really know how to make you feel at home.